So today I'm going to do a quick video on how you can reprogram your tire size in the new Ram 1500s. So uh, I have a 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel and uh, I'm got uh, bigger tires on mine. I went up to a 34 and a half inch over my uh, 33 inch stock tires. And so I have the Alpha OBD and then I have this BAFX OBD2 scanner, which is a Bluetooth. And then I have a uh, bypass cable here that's connected to my security gateway module plugs. And so basically I'm just gonna show you what you need to do on Alpha OBD to change this. So I'm in the Alpha OBD app, and then I have Dodge Ram selected as the car <clears throat> and then you'll do ram 1500 body computer select control units and so the one i'm using for the 2020 ram is down here at the bottom it's the body computer dt my 2020 power net and so now we need to connect to our OBD2 scanner. And you'll see, once you connect, you'll get some lights flashing on your uh, scanner down there. And so now we're going to click the icon with the open hood. And then select procedure. We're going to scroll down to the bottom. to program tire size. And so it tells you a little bit about it. It mentions the ABS, which we'll have to reinitialize after we do this to uh, make sure ABS is using the right tire size as well. And it has a few options here of, I guess, some stock times like, but so I'll just enter it in manually. So, so enter in your size manually, start next. And so actually I've already done this the first time and I originally, I think it was like 25, 50 something was the stock size. And then I went up to 27, seven, eight and I ended up being reading, uh, going from reading too fast to too slow, basically. Or, I mean, the other way around. Too slow to too fast. So now I'm about three miles per hour uh, too slow on my uh, current setup. So I'm going to readjust it again. And then I have to drive it around and compare to my uh, GPS to see if it's closer this time so we'll hit start then next and it should say procedure completed and then that's still saying the other one so but it should update here and then next I'm going to back out of this this will do it again. Now, there it is, it's updated now. So yeah, dynamic tire circumference, 2692. So another one we need to do, car configuration change. We also need to do this. And so select option. go down and this is all the different stuff you can actually change with your alpha OBD So 
So we need to go vehicle config for dynamic tire circumference. And then we're gonna enter that same value here. Next, start. So it should be good as long as it says it right there, procedure complete, and it also says it there. So now we're gonna turn off the truck and uh, we're gonna let it sit for about, I guess, about one minute is what I'll do before we go back in on it. So I let the truck sit for a minute. Now I'm going to turn it back to run, but not actually start it. So no foot on the brake if you get the push to start. And so I'm gonna go in now. We're gonna have to go back. Go back out, and this time instead of body computer, we're going to go to ABS. And so the reason you have to do this too is so your ABS is also reading that uh, new tire size that you put in there. So the one I do, I wasn't real sure on which to do, because there you got two options here, the My 2019 Plus but I use the DT My 2019 Plus. And so you'll see here, you get your ABS and your brake flashing, and that's due to this it's in there. So we got our ABS and we're connected. We'll go back to the car hood, and then we'll go to procedure. And then we'll go to ABS initialization. So this kind of tells you also the order here to run it in. Start. Then we're going to go to static ECU initialization. Start static initialization, static ECU initialization, start procedure completed, test passed. And then last thing we're going to do, like it said in this ABS, we're going to run clearing rules information. Here's our clearing rules information. Start procedure completed. And so we're finished up there. Last thing I'm going to do, we're going to go to engine faults, read faults, tested device, ABS Continental, no faults reported. I'm just going to go ahead and clear faults anyways. Now we're good to go. So I'll uh, turn the truck off, and now we're pretty much finished up. Um, and it says you should wait five minutes before uh, driving it to uh, test this out. I guess just make sure it has enough time to read it. I think it should do it instantly, but I've read around and generally they say wait about five minutes before you try to test it out. But uh, that's it. That should fix your problem. And then if uh, you continue to be off a little bit like I was, then you'll just have to go back in and adjust your uh, tire size again until you kind of dial it in by just checking it with your your GPS um, on your phone basically just to verify your speed with that but all right hope you enjoyed the video